We are now exactly one month away from the release of Pokemon's newest set, Stellar Crown. The Scarlet and Violet era of Pokemon cards have already introduced a lot of new things into the trading card game, like Terrastalized Pokemon, the Gray Borders, and now in this set, for the first time, we will see Rainbow Borders. It's also pretty surprising how fast this set is releasing since the previous Shrouded Fable. Like, Pokemon really got us going broke over here. Stellar Crown will have over 170 cards in the set, and you can see on Pokemon Center's website that some of the products for Stellar Crown are already up for pre-order. In today's video, we'll be using Justin Basil's visual set list to go over the set, look at all the top pulls, and at the end of this video, like we do with every new Pokemon set that comes out, I will give my brutally honest rating out of 10. Shrouded Fable didn't really get a good rating in the last video, so hopefully this does better. Right off the bat, the very first two cards I see, nice little Venusaur EX, bringing back a Venusaur, okay. And then for the commons, we won't spend too much time on the commons and stuff in this video, but right off the bat, I saw that Celebi and that's a beauty. Okay, we got, is this Flapple? This is like the meanest, bro, Flapple is mean muggin on this card. And there it is. So our very first rainbow border card. I have not looked over this set fully yet. Yes, I've seen some leaks here and there, but this is my first time looking over the set and I have never seen this card. So we have a Cinderace with the rainbow borders. And dude, I'm not gonna lie. This actually looks really freaking cool. The terrestrialize is, you know, it's a lot. I've never been a huge fan of the terrestrialization and the crowns and all that because it's it almost makes it like it's hard to see the card, but the rainbow borders are looking pretty sick. Even like the glares of like these kind of gem looking color, like different colors coming in from around the corners. I think that looks really cool. All right, we have a Blastoise EX. What's going on here? We getting some, some 151 type vibes going on? I mean, we'll take it, but I did not know Venusaur and Blastoise. And then, we're, so does this have a Charizard too? Lapras EX is our next one with the rainbow borders. And I, I like this one better than the Cinderace. I think really hoping Lapras has like a special illustration rare or something, but really quick, I wanted to tell you all that the SIR God packs have been re stocked on shinyvert.com every single one of those packs that goes out will have a guaranteed special illustration rare pokemon card like mew ex from paldean fates or walking wake from temporal forces miriam from scarlet and violet base or carmen that's my bae. If you're only speaking about value, yes, you could win huge, but you can also lose. I think the SIR God Packs are dope because you don't have to potentially go through hundreds of packs without ever pulling one. You're guaranteed one, and there's still a mystery of you don't know which one you're gonna get. Also, we are back with live breaks this Friday. We're doing a Chilling Rain live break. I think that's gonna be insane. Packs for the live break are available as well right now on shinyvert.com. As always, I appreciate y'all a ton and all the support. Back to the video. Greninja EX. Oh, fucking spider over here. Another one with the rainbow border. Disgusting. Okay, we got the doggo over here. Wait, is this the food set? I know that there was leaks coming out, and this was months ago, but there was leaks coming out, and everybody's like, this is a food heavy set for like special illustration rares or something. Medicham, Lucario, there's some good featured Pokemon on some of these EX cards here. What the fuck is that? What is that? Dude, it looks like a bunch of fucking s squares. All I see is squares. Dude, this Jirachi card is so cool. I love Jirachi. I've always loved Jirachi. Melmetal EX, oh my god, the fucking Varooms. And the Earthworm, Alaskan Bullworm from Spongebob gets an EX card. <laughs> I can't, I literally can't even tell what this is. Is this the turtle? Is this the new turtle Pokemon? I think, I, I feel like that's the turtle, but I can, even knowing it's the turtle, I can barely see what's going on with that card. All right, we've made it into the trainers. We got a few A specs. I still like the fact that they brought in the A specs. It makes it fun when you see that pink card in the back of the pack. And now we have our illustration rare Pokemon. All right, well, right off the bat, everybody is going to lose their shit over Bulbasaur that is probably going to be a very expensive card. As we recently saw with Eevee from Twilight Masquerade, the price went crazy on that. Honestly, not my favorite ever, but I'm sure it's gonna go stupid just cause it's Bulbasaur. Lady Ba, it's, you know, this one's okay. Uh, Lilligant over here, this is pretty cool. I kind of like this style of art. The illustration rares, I will say, every time I'm ranking the sets, or doing these set reviews, I always think they're like iffy. And then once I see them in person, I'm like, okay, this is better than I thought it was gonna be. Some of these, I'm probably gonna end up liking a lot more once I actually open the set. This one's really cool right here. Holy shit, this score bunny is, that's, that's legitness right there. I like this one. Whoa, I have not seen this Squirtle card ever. 
This is my first time seeing the Squirtle card. I like this a thousand times better than the Bulbasaur over here. The Bulbasaur is pretty cool, but the Squirtle, dude, it's chilling in a freaking kiddie pool with some Pidgeys. That's beast mode. I like that card a lot, actually. That's really cool. What the fuck is this? This looks like the thing from um, the end of uh, is it Monsters, Inc.? I don't know what I'm talking about. I just assumed you were buddies, you know, when I saw you out there in the snow hugging it all. Ah, the little fucking spider. I hate spiders. I'm not going to lie, though. I, I low-key, I actually really, I like this card. I like it. It looks cool. The yellow and purple. It's got some, like, Los Angeles Laker vibes going on and all the lightning bolts coming out. That's pretty cool. That's pretty sick. This one I have seen before. This is a 10 out of 10. The Zero Aura. Oh, my God. God, if they would have made this a special illustration rare, the the pink and the blue lightning and everything about this card looks amazing. It's a 10 out of 10 card. We got the Milk Boy. It's pretty cool. It's it's cute. It's cute vibes. I could see a lot of people liking that. Metatite chilling in tree. It's pretty cool. Oh, this is the food set. The gulpin eating the cake. In the background. It's weird. It. This is probably gonna be one of those cards that I look at on screen and I'm like, eh. But in person, I feel like it'll be really cool. We have this guy. I've seen everybody making fun of this thing because it's like a, the evolution of a skyscraper or whatever. Moving on to our full art Pokemon. We have... Th this is Flapple, right? Am I being an idiot by saying Flapple? I think it's Flapple. When I oh, the... Oh, the rainbow. The rainbow full arts look really good, actually. So we have Cinderace, Lapras fucking spider that is so nasty i hate spiders the the doggo medicham actually the background on this dog one is really cool and okay alaskan bullworm and the turtle dude these i feel like these are gonna look so sick in person with these like rainbow sparkles on the white background i think that's gonna look really good i'm excited i'm excited to see those in person i'm not gonna lie full art supporters this one looks fantastic amazing i like it let bro cook over here. Okay. Is that it? Only four? Only four trainers? And for our special illustration rares of this set, Flapple again. That's pretty surprising to see Flapple get an SR. Not gonna lie. I've seen this one before, and I feel like nobody really likes this one. I low-key think it's pretty cool. I kind of like this one as a special illustration rare. This reminds me of the first time from Crown Zenith. What, what was that card? That's killing me now. It gives me these vibes. The Simiseer V-Star vibes from Crown Zenith. I remember the first time I saw that Simiseer. I thought it was really cool because it's so different, but nobody seemed to like it that much. Okay, we've got the spider. The spider gets a special illustration rare. I just don't like spiders, but the card is kind of cool, honestly. Um, the doggo gets a special illustration rare. I have seen this one. Very food-based. It's, I mean, it's not going to be my chase card, personally, but I could see a lot of people liking it. And then the turtle. The turtle angelfish. Kind of cool, but special illustration rares, once again, they're very lackluster for this set, in my opinion. I think it's a, a big step up from fucking Shrouded Fable. That was horrific, but, you know, still kind of lackluster. Um, special illustration rare trainers. Um, these are both really cool, actually. I genuinely think both of these look really good and our gold card so we do have that rainbow effect coming on to the gold card that'll be really interesting to see with these like rainbow sparkles on the card in person i think that could look really good we've got like a crystal cave going on honestly the colors on this one will probably look amazing on the gold in person and then whatever the fuck that is intentionally excluded cards so these will be promo cards Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the promo for the ETB, the, the Noctowl. Probably one of the best promos we've gotten in like the past five years, to be honest. This is Stellar Crown. I think it'll be really interesting to see some of the rainbows in person. I think there is some cool cards in this set, some good illustration rares. And as an overall set, in my level of excitement to open this set, like the Zara Aura, the Squirtle, I like both these trainers. I'm going to give this set a 5.3. Out of 10. Let me know how you feel about Stellar Crown in the comments. I appreciate y'all watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.